Hey guys, uh, in this video I want to talk to you about this whole kit that I got up here, uh, which is with the Nikon Z6 camera, Mozart 2, Atomos uh, Ninja 5, and, uh, and a whole bunch of other, actually other things that you can get right now as a kit that BNH is offering, and I, I believe a few other retailers. I'm going to post up the links, uh, and you can get this whole kit uh, for an amazing deal right now, and I'm going to tell you why I think it's a good deal. So what I got up here is something that I actually acquired over time on my own. Uh, it's the Mozart 2 gimbal, I've got the Atomos Ninja 5 uh, recorder and a monitor, I also got the Nikon Z6 uh, and a whole bunch of other things. But basically what I, you know, I sort of got this over time and I kind of put it together as a package and uh, uh, and I've really grown to like it. If you've, you've actually had a chance to either see my talk or actually come and meet me at NAB, uh, NAB 2019, uh, then you would have seen my talk actually at the Nikon booth where they were kind of showcasing some of my work and they, they were asking me why I kind of went with this kit. Nikon Z6, I think it's a great deal right now if you don't want to spend, you know, a, a lot of money but you want to get a full frame camera that is also a great photo camera but at the same time takes amazing quality video uh, and you want to get into full frame video, then I think this is right now like the, the best deal that you can get right now with the Nikon Z6. Now if you pair that together with uh, one of the external recorders, the one that I've actually been using before is the Ninja uh, thing Inferno, which I've had. A great recorder, and it works great with this camera. The problem with it is, if you can see how big it is, and it's actually way, way heavier. Uh, than the the Ninja 5. So now I, I you know that since I've had the Ninja 5 It's like a big game changer. Now this thing gives you a few other extra recording options But if you're gonna use it basically or you're gonna have a camera like the Nikon Z6 uh, Then there's no need to get that. I think the the Ninja uh, You know the 5 inch recorder that they have is a great option because it's small It's very light uh, compared to that better on b uh, battery life uh, It's still you know a thousand nits of brightness. It's a 10-bit display beautiful quality uh, and it allows you to basically get the the clean v HDMI basically uh, you know signal out of here into here, and you can actually record a 10-bit uh, log basically n log uh, you know video up here. So it's cinema quality or broadcast quality. You can you know like I said, it's it's a perfect filmmaker skit, and this is actually how. Uh, they're marketing it right now. I don't know whether it's per se Nikon or I think they've kind of teamed up with all these different um, Manufacturers, but yeah, you can right now go uh, You know to B&H and and I believe Amazon also has it uh, Once again, I'm gonna post the links below that uh, for all that stuff But you can get this whole kit for three and a half thousand dollars right now And actually you'll, you'll get even more because you're gonna get the camera you would with, with this lens You'll get the Mozart 2, you get the Ninja, you know, Atomos, their new 5-inch recorder. But you're also going to get the Rode VideoMic Pro. On top of that, you're going to get uh, XQD recording cards in case you do want to record internally because you can still get great image quality, uh, whether it's for photos or, or for video, right internally to the camera. So that's a good thing. Uh, you'll get a Manfrotto backpack and, uh, and a few other little extras in there. So. Again, an amazing deal right now that you can get. And with this whole kit, I mean, literally, you're ready to, you know, you, you're gonna have great audio with with uh, with uh, you know v v Rode Video Mic Pro, uh, amazing image quality, and then especially if you, like I said, if you team this camera up together with the uh, the Atomos uh, Ninja Five, uh, it's like I said, you're getting 10 bit. Uh, you know, basically uncompressed video quality, and you can record in uh, Apple ProRes or uh, a DNX HR. And of course, you can just use this on a, any regular tripod or whatever it is that you want to use it. Use a handheld. I, I've actually shot a lot of, uh, with this camera handheld, and it works great because it has nice image stabilization. Has actually pretty good uh, autofocus in it. Uh, now, if you throw it up on a gimbal like this one. You can get some really cool moving shots on a gimbal. So, uh, you know, again, if you guys want to check out my full review of the Mozart 2. Now, the only thing I would still suggest that maybe you guys should invest in uh, is extra lenses. Because uh, you'll get the 24 to 70 f4 lens, which is which I have up here. Great lens, actually, when you're on a gimbal because you can you know, zoom in and zoom out. But if you want to get that extra, extra nice, you know, shallow depth of field and just so it's better in low light. Uh, I've I got these lenses. This is the the Nikkor, um 50 millimeter f 1.8 and the 35 millimeter uh, f 1.8. And uh, you know Nikon overall is known for great quality glass. So 
these lenses are no exception. There's a few other options, but I think like this is, you know, with that zoom lens and then these two lenses, or even if you can't afford both of them, I, I would get that, then the 50 f1.8. And right there, you're, you know, this is pretty much what I've used to record like majority of, of my work that I've been doing with this combo. Now, if uh, you want to get like a telephoto zoom lens or things like that, there's other options obviously out there. So again, I'll post uh, the links to some other kind of suggestions. With the combo like this, like I said, obviously you can do handheld shots, tripod shots, but then on top of that, you can do amazingly smooth uh, gimbal shots with this. So there's really no excuse. I mean, you can go out there, you can shoot a whole feature film or whatever it is, or the documentary. But even if you're using this for like, you know, your um, wedding video kind of a, you know, filmmaker, uh, and you need something that's light, but that gives you that you know, nice full frame look. Yeah, again, right there, you're ready to do it. Another little accessory that I added, it's this little basically bracket that you put on the Moza and allows you to attach like an extra handle. This is a small rig handle that I attached. Uh, and then also allows you to attach a little strap. So like a lot of times if I'm filming with this combo, it can still get heavy, right? I mean, it's, it's not horrible, but uh, it, it was much worse actually when I was recording and I had this attached up here. Uh, that's why it's, I have since upgraded to the, the Atomos uh, Ninja 5. But even then, it's nice to have this strap. You basically kind of put it over you and, and then, you know, when you're filming with it, you get tired. Uh, if you want to just stop and relax it for a bit, you can just let it kind of, you know, hang by your side while your, your arms uh, take a break. So that's a nice little addition. There is actually another company now, uh, I think it's called Digital Photo. I reviewed some of their other products, but they, they've they emailed me since and they said, hey, Tom, we also made a little bracket like that for the Mozart 2. Another great little accessory I would also suggest you getting is this little handle that I got up here, uh, which basically goes in between your tripod here, the Mozart 2, and the main handle. And this allows you to uh, hold the gimbal with both hands. Uh, again, makes it just easier to work with it. But then on top of that, you can mount yeah, various attachment points. So you can mount microphones, accessories, things like that. Uh, or you can put uh, this magic arm, which again is another you know really great little accessory uh, that will uh, allow you to mount uh, the Atomos or any other basically external monitor or slash recorder. But yeah, overall, I mean, great, great thing with this gimbal, by the way, and this camera, you can control focus actually using the wheel. Uh, here, uh, so you can be focusing the lenses if you want that way. Uh, you, you do actually have a, you know, if you're going to use cinema glass, you can do that too because there is a, a basically wireless um, follow focus unit that you can get uh, for this, this gimbal. So will actually allow you to to focus cinema glass. But you can also control like start and stop the camera, obviously. But you can even control the camera settings, ISO, shutter, all that stuff, white balance, just by using the the buttons here uh, and, and the settings here on on the Moza Air 2. Uh, so a lot of cool things you can do, and like I said, it's like a nice compact filmmaking kit, and it's so much cheaper than doing what I did, which is like buying everything separately, because I, I I spent you know way over three, you know uh, basically four thousand dollars, whereas right now, like I said, for three thousand eight hundred, you can get this whole thing plus uh, you know uh, some extras. Um, so anyways. If you guys are interested, check it out uh, to check again the links under the in the description or uh, even better, go to my website where I usually post an article and I kind of go more in depth into a lot of the, the issues and things like that, that that I find. And and also if there's any like updated information or deals and things like that that I find. Again, you'll find all of that and a lot more on my website, which is TomAntosFilms.com. Uh, and while you're there, subscribe to my newsletter so you can get notified in the future of any, uh, again, posts, videos, or, or kind of uh, deals that are over there that I post about. Uh, anyways, my name is Tom Antos once again, and I'll see you guys in the in the next video. Bye.